In the world of video, one thing I've learned is that everybody has a story. Everyone has a story. Um, I've met so many business owners and when we're shooting their video off camera, I'll ask them how they got started in doing what they do and there is always an interesting story there, which is one of the reasons why I started my, my other podcast that talks about how people got started and what they went through, and etc. And one of the questions I get all the time is how did I get started in video? So I thought I'd make a video about it and share my story here. So here we go. Okay, so if you met me in person, you know my, my belief when it comes to talent is this. I believe that every single person has a God-given talent. Something that comes naturally to you, something that you find very easy to do. And I think that one of our purposes in life is to figure out what your talent is and then how can you use it to help other people. You do that and I think, I think your life has, has a lot more meaning um, and it makes life a lot more enjoyable. So with that being said, I believe that my talent, the one thing that comes natural to me, very easy to me, is creativity. I've always been creative. One of my favorite uh, memories about of me being creative is years ago, I had a girlfriend who worked at a large company and we were gonna do this benefit run. To, it, was, it was a run to benefit children. And the company asked everyone in the company, including the marketing department, to come up with an idea for the t-shirt that the 200 plus employees will wear. So my girlfriend came home and said, hey Rob, why don't you see if you can design something? Now, I had no background in marketing at the time, um, but I figured I'll, I'll give it a shot. And as you can probably guess, it was my design that was chosen over the marketing department. And I'm not telling the story to brag, my point is this, I had nothing to do with marketing. I never did anything in the marketing or creative field, but I truly, truly enjoy being creative. So when I sat down that evening to design this idea for the t-shirt, um, it, was, it was so much fun and it was just, it came natural to me. And there was nothing better than getting to the run that Saturday morning and seeing 200 people wearing a t-shirt with the design that, that I, came, I came up with. So the way I got into video, it was with a phone call. I got a phone call from a buddy of mine who asked me if I could meet him at Memorial Park and bring my video camera. Back then I had this little video camera. I did some video stuff on the side. And he said, Rob, can you videotape me running past this tree? I'm gonna touch the tree and then I'm gonna come over to the camera and say a few things. And then I wanna send that to my family and friends. We did that. It was about, a, I don't know, one minute video. And after the video, I said, Tom, you know, you're thanking people, you're very happy, but what is the story here? What's going on? And his story, like I said before, his story was incredibly interesting. My friend Tom was an avid runner. He's run all of his life. That's something he loved to do. I think he did it three times a week. And then one day his knee gave out and he had to have knee replacement. And his doctor told him that his running days were over. Well, there's no way my friend was going to take that. So he had his knee replaced and then he went right back to running. And this was, I think it was a year or two after, must have been two or so years after his replacement. And he had several hundred miles on his knee with no issue and he felt great. So he wanted to make this video to let his family and friends know that his life hasn't changed. You know, they were backing him up on Tom, keep running. And while well, his story was motivational. So what I did was after I shot this little video, I got home and I wrote a whole script and then I, to tell his story. And then I called my friend Scott to read the script as voiceover because I have a slight New York accent. And then I put this video together. Instead of a one minute video, it was probably a three minute video. And I sent it to Tom and then he sent it out to his friends. And I remember getting emails from Tom that he was forwarding me from other people. People asking him, who made this video? What company made this video? And I'm thinking, company, I'm just a guy with a crummy little camera. But it, it was that that kind of sparked me into, you know, can I do video? And then I had this great conversation with my friend Scott. Man, I'll never forget it. He said to me, Rob, what do you think, man? Do you think you could do this for a living? And I, I could hear myself <laughs> telling him, no, there's no way. There's no way I could do video production for a li living. That's something that's, you know, you need a company, you need high-end equipment. Well, after thinking about it, for a couple of weeks, I called some friends that I have in the marketing field, told them what I was thinking about, and uh, they kind of inspired me to, to, to do what I like to do. 
And that's how I got started in video. And since then, I've been doing video for, man, 10 plus years, 12 years now. I've met some incredible people. I've seen companies from the inside out. I feel very fortunate, feel very fortunate about the field that I'm in. So let me close the video with this. Figure out what your talent is. Figure out what your God-given talent is. Um, it may be that you're very good at math or you're very good at science or maybe you're a very good communicator. It, it could be a number of things that it may be. Figure out what it is and once you do, figure out how you can use that talent to help other people. Again, like I said at the beginning of this video, I believe that if you figure that out, you're, you are figuring out what your purpose is in life and uh, it can be incredibly rewarding. Anyway, God bless you and uh, thank you for watching the video.